Yeah, hi, this is Mark Phantom and we're talking with Nick Tower. Uh, Nick Tower is from First Place Fitness uh, where he's been working out for a few months and he's been doing MMA boot camp and workout of the day. How's it going, Nick? Good, brother. Good, uh, Mark. Excellent. So um, tell me, what's uh, what's this MMA boot camp and workout of the day thing? that I like doing and it's uh, short and the thing I like about it is short, quick, but it's beneficial for my needs anyway, for like a health wise and, uh, and, and weight loss and uh, just, just uh, since this program that I've been on this program, I, when I first uh, uh, went to look into the, to the, the programs. I uh, was a bit intimidated by the uh, the, the other uh, people that were in there. They were a lot younger than I was, and I thought, oh no, this is not for me. So, how old are you, are you uh, Nick? I'm in my mid sixties. Mid sixties. Yeah, and. Um, because uh, when you know, looking and when I first went into this, uh, looked into this program, I uh, looked into the, to the classes. You know, the very uh, oh, the people that were in there, probably from the uh, young twenties to the thirties, uh, and there was, uh, and I didn't think there was anybody else my age in there. But uh, that's what intimidated me. And I don't know, that can't be for me. But I came home one night and I um, I thought about it and I just bugger it, you know. I thought, I'm bugger, you know, I'm interested in doing a program like that and I, I just front it up. And um, when I done my first... Um, uh, work out of the day? I done... Sorry? Your work out of the day? Yeah, my first work out of the day. Actually, I did, did the, the boot camp. And that's actually a precursor to a workout of the day. Right. And um, so I done my first boot camp and uh, managed to survive that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got through it, but uh, yeah, it, uh, it certainly felt the aches and pains. A couple of days later, a lot of muscles that were being worked that I didn't know I had. You know, and I, um, I thought, oh hell, you know, am I going to bloody go back to the next class? And I thought. Give it a couple of more days, and I'll just rest off and get the soreness out of me, and went back again and done another boot camp. And, uh, and from then on, I got to like it, you know. The thing started to sort of, if I kept at it, I was kept telling myself, if I kept at it, I'm sure I'm going to get a bit more fitter. And, uh, but it was just the program that, that they had set up that, that I was interested in, and it was something that I was wanting to do. So hey, that's, um... and, uh, as every class I turned up at, I was getting better and better. And then from uh, boot camp, I progressed to the workout of the day. And this is a, a, a program that was a little bit more highly intensity, with high intensity than uh, boot camp. And my first class I did, and I did, wow. I, I, I was really uh, refreshed, uh, had more energy, only because I've done that uh, boot camp first, I think, mean, like they, the trainer had said, you know, it's a precursor to the workout of the day. And from that day on, from my first workout of the day that I'd done, and they had a uh, workout of the day for every day of the week, I tried work, uh, working out on, on every day. And every day you go up to do a workout of the day, something different, never ever the same, and that's what I liked about it, there was variety, there was weights and, uh, and, uh, and cardio mixed in, and, and at maximum, I suppose you would do is the uh, uh, 30 minutes, which is, which is about what, what it takes, 30 minutes to go through a program, everything is to, to uh, time, or they'll have um, stations. 
pushing for that, that they'll have a, a push set out and then you do as many stations as you can and on a time limit and this is the, this is what I liked about it and and, not, and and the benefit I got out of it and then I noticed that it, once I increased my work out of the day classes I was getting fitter and fitter and I noticed a change in me. Um, people, uh, my family, even, you know, mentioning, God, oh, you've lost, lost a losing weight. I said, I am, I can feel it. I said, I can feel it in the clothes I'm wearing. But not only that... A bit know, lighter on your feet? Pardon? You get a bit lighter on your feet, you're walking down the street, oh, you feel a it, 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 bit it, of a it, skip it, in your you step. Know, it, it just feel um, energised. I was getting more energised. And I'm uh, sleeping better at night. And, and not feeling hungry. That's what I liked about it. And I love my food, you know. I'm not eating like what I, the, the, the amount I was eating before I was training and doing this exercise. I mean, I, I sat down, I, I sat down, I had, I had my meals, but it was wasn't the right meal. Hey, um, that sounds really cool. It, 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 you know, the meals that I was eating weren't the healthy meals. You know, it was just meals that were prepared and uh, and uh, and because with. Like I said, I love my food, and, and I hate food going to waste, and, and, and that's what I used to do. It does a call to myself on food. It's comfort, to comfort me, really. And then since I've been in, the, in, in, the, in this program with the workout of the day, the boot camp, and the MMA, you know, that just inspired me, you know, and, and, and then I found that uh, it suppressed my eating, and I thought, Hell, you know, I've lost this weight, and I've only been in this program for 14 weeks. And from, uh, you know, from uh, when I first started, I was, uh, well, I was sitting about 120 kilos, and you know, and and and, and, I, and I've just gone and done the, the gym thing, you know, like what everybody else does. You do your cardio and on the on the machines and everything, but you know, and I was there 18 months. And I only lost three kilos, you know, over that 18 months. And, uh, and then when they brought this other program in, and then I looked in, and now I've only been in there 14, 14 weeks, and 22 kilos later, it's got to be beneficial, isn't it? 22 kilos, eh? Yeah, 22 kilos. That's what I've lost in the, since I've been in that program. So I've actually lost... Um, uh, 22 kilos, yeah, 22 kilos on, on the... Um, 17 kilos on the, uh, probably, I'm not, no, I was 117 kilos when I started on the, on the wad class. And, uh, and, um... Well, chances are you probably lost more than 22 kilos in fat and you've put on, uh, several kilos of muscle, so it balances out to 22 kilos. Yeah, yeah, well, a lot of it would have been fat, you know, because, um... Yeah, yeah, it's just like people, friends of mine say to me, says, man, you, you've got a good shape on you now. Uh, <laughs> and it's, but it's, it's not only the shape, he says, but you, you, you look, you know, every, everything, your complexion, you're looking younger, you know, and that, that just makes me feel good, you know. You know? And, 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 and when, when people are saying that to me, you know, it inspires me to just keep going back to those classes. Where I used to be doing a, a ward class or a boot camp, whatever, I used to do it every day. Now I, I can afford to cut back on those classes. I can concentrate on doing maybe two days, three days of uh, weight, weight training to build my muscles up. And the other three, well, I just get, keep my fitness level, you know. And, yeah, that, um, that's a really good idea, Nick. Because, um, yeah, you can't sort of do an intense... Every, exercise every day when you know when you get a bit older so you need to uh some days you need to come in there and just do a little bit of muscle building exactly, exactly. <clears throat> well, it would when especially you good trainers you know and they tell you you know you need the muscle you know and uh, and, uh, and i mean these people know you know they know what you need you know and and, 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 the, and the good thing about it you know uh, um you know if you're coming with a little injury and and, and the fact is they love me blood seeing me turn up every day, you know, regardless. <laughs> turn up. And, and they always say to me, uh, 
it's done a very hard class today. You know, expect you to give yourself uh, some uh, rest day, you know, to recover. Yeah. But, you know, me being stubborn, and I turned up the next day, and as you may say, oh, you know, you're, you're unbelievable, you know, if you're turning up every day to do. And then, you know, and they tell you the reasons why you need to recover, give yourself to recover. And not only that, come in here, you're burning off a lot of your muscles, and you need the muscles to burn off the fat, and that's what you want. And then I said, yeah. I want to keep the fat off me. I said, well, you need to, you need to spend some time on weights and just have a day of weight training. And, you know, no, when I say day, you know, come in and do an hour or so on weight training one day and then come in and do a watt class. You say, mix and, you know, mix and match, you, you type of sort of thing, you know. Yeah, good and, idea, uh, actually, Nick. Obviously, um... you know, like um, what you're telling me, you know, uh, Telling the thought, I'm telling the trainers, you know, I keep an eye on what my nutritional needs. But, you know, it, it's good too that I have a daughter that really is into that sort of thing, you know. Uh, she, she, she watches what I eat, and uh, unfortunately, she, she works full time. I'm, uh, I'm not working, I'm home, I'm cooking the, the dinner. And this is the good thing about it. I know what I'm putting in my meals, and I know how much to. to um, quantities that I need to put out and, uh, and and I've got this chart on the wall it's got a, you know the, what they call the triangle where, where, the, where your veggies are on the on the on the, the, the larger part of the triangle right <coughs> up with the bad part so you use less of that and more of the other you know so it's a good um it's a good thing to to work off you know and good lifestyle so my daughter says you know you put a dinner plate on the table and then you put a, a, a smaller plate on, on, on the dinner plate and that's what you put your meal on, you know. So you know, how they say your steak portion should be the size of your, of, your, of, your, um, of your palm of your hand. And he said, that's another thing, you're using a smaller plate than <coughs> a dinner plate. And make it look like you're eating a dinner plate, you know. It, it, it's just a diversion from you, you know, for you, you know, so that you only eat what you need to eat and no more. You know, something that's as long as you got them when you're eating your meal you're just satisfying your hunger pains, you know. Yeah, good good advice there, Nick. Yeah, and uh, you know, she's helping she says, What you need what you're after she says, What you're after, Dad, is uh, is uh, that you've got a skinny guy inside that body of you and that's <laughs> the guy you want to see, just the skinny guy inside inside of you. So to get to that skinny guy you need to you just feed that skinny guy, and you, you, you'll find all uh, the fat guy on the, out, on the outside of that skinny guy will go, you know, will come off, or go away, and that, that's how she puts it to me. And I, and I think that's it, you know, it, it, it um... And last time I saw you, Nick, that looked exact, exactly what's happening. Yeah. And, you know, like, you know, like, People like you that notice me going in there, and and, and not only that, I, I've, I've built up quite a, a big fan base in, in in the club as well, you know, and they 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 encouraged me, they've seen me, and they said, oh, you know. I think you're inspirational. You know, I, I can't see that myself. From you know, to me, I'm you know, I'm still the same person, but uh, but the only way I can tell if I'm if I'm, I never hop on weights, you know, regularly, only maybe when I go to the doctors. And I'll hop on in here, and I just love the doctor saying, "Man, you've lost some weight." You know, that 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 that's all I needed to hear from the doctor. And he said, "You're doing so well." He said, and not only that, you know, I I, you know, I had um, hypertension, you know, uh, high blood pressure, uh, high cholesterol. But now that I've been in this program, I've I've knocked the cholesterol down to the, the levels they need to be at. And my um, and my blood pressure has come right down. It's, it's, it's near normal, but I but I'm still taking the tablets. But I'm you know it's, it's, like the, it's like the doctor said you know uh, we'll just keep you on that. But uh, um, they got the uh, the uh, the um, the uh, yeah well, what do you call it? What's the word? Um, in, the, in the pills and the tablet they dropped the. Um, the dosage? Uh, um, the dosage? Yeah, yeah, nearly half, so, you know, 
Wow, that's I mean, fantastic. I mean, uh, you know, um, you know, to even get into the gym in the first place, you know, my daughter used to say, oh, I'll just go into the gym, Dad, you know, and go and work out, and, and, uh, and, uh, and I keep putting up, yeah, we keep driving past gyms, and she says, I'll take you anywhere then, and check out and see what membership's like in here. And then one day, when, you know, she just drove into the first place fitness, and I come in, uh, I'll just walk in, and... Uh, before I could say, and you see a sign on my dotted line, so I signed on my dotted line, made my first uh, <coughs> foray into the gym, you know, and I liked what I was doing when under under the trainer that was took me to on my, on my personal program, and yeah, yeah, from then on I just kept going regularly, did an hour in there, and then and gradually increased it, and then but things plateaued out, and I thought, well, 18 months in there and three months, not much training, but I, I'm, I'm hopeless training on by myself. I could, I could never train on my own, you know. So I think that's where the fault was, you know. I wasn't pushing myself. I was just doing the, the usual jump on the treadmill or on the bike and just pedaled away, not really putting any intensity on it. In uh, 18 months, and then since they started the work of the day and the boot camps, and I went up there and poked my head in there, and uh, oh, this might be the program for me. And <laughs> yep, uh, put myself in there and then, uh, never regret it. You know, as long as I don't get injured, I'll just keep going to those programs, and I love it. Wow, well, sounds and fantastic, fact, Nick. In, in, in fact, in fact, my brain doesn't go to sleep when I go to bed. I'm, my brain is focusing on what my next work of the, out of the day is. That, that's how bad it is. I'm getting infectious, you know, when <laughs> they work of the day, work out of the day. You know, that, that's what it's done to me. It's unbelievable. You know, I said to my daughter, I said, oh, I, can, I can't go fix my brain off when I go to bed. It takes me a long time to get to sleep, but when I do get to sleep, I have a real good day's luck. I've had a good... 10 hours sleep, you know, it could be just 6 hours sleep. But I'm looking forward to getting in and to doing my next workout of the day or going to the gym, you know. So, I'm addicted hey, to the workout so of the day, but I have to get to the workout of the day. I've got to get to the gym, so the gym is a... Uh, not only that, but, you know, the environment, the gym environment is, is so friendly and um, that, that's what keeps me going there, you know. And, uh, and I, can't, I can't go out anywhere unless I go out and do at least an hour in the gym, whether it's for a workout of the day or just doing my thing in the gym. Hey, that's great. Nick, yeah. hey, your final words. Um, what would be your advice to uh, other people that are, um, you know, at a position where you were a few um, a few months ago where they're trying to decide, you know, um, what they should do about getting a new body? What, what would be your advice? Well, my advice for them, if they ever thinking, you know, of, you know, of, 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 of finding, a, you know, for, for health, health wise and all that, is to make that move. You know, don't hesitate. Go in and make that move. Go and talk to the people in the, to the gym, at the gym, and uh, these people know their jobs. And uh, you know, and uh, and the thing is, if you can put your mind to it, if you if you if you want to do something, you can achieve it. And uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, if you sit back and just ponder, or shall I, or shall I not? I said, you just got to make that initial move. And I tell you what, like I said, you know, I've, since I've been in there, I've never regretted it. You know, I, I was, I, I, I should have been in there years ago. I should have been doing this years ago. Maybe I would never be doing the work out of the day, but I, I, at least I, I, you know, I, I would have been in a better, healthier position, get a spending money and getting yourself uh, fixed at, 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 at a doctor. You could save money, you know, go into the gym and and and, 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 and it's up to, to you if you want if you want to go in and, and, and make yourself better and healthier. Do it, just do it. Don't hesitate. That's what I can offer to them, uh, Mark. 
Oh, that's great, Nick. Truly motivational. I'm sure a lot of people will take uh, your advice and and uh, and feel your passion and and actually feel motivated. Thanks a lot for those um, those words, that contribution. It was great talking to you, and we'll see you down the gym. Thank you for that, Mark. Well, I appreciate appreciated your concern and uh, and I'm that I'm, I've been able to hopefully have some, you know, if not one, at least that. It's something that if I can encourage uh, hundreds of more people, you know, just go busy people. You get, you don't have to be young. You, get, you know, I, I know there's people in, in the in the in the gym that I go to that put the first place fitness. There's 80, 80 year old pluses that are going to the gym, and that's motivation for me, you know. But um, all the younger people that are coming there and that, 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 that know me, you know, because oh, I'm a friendly person to get on with them. I like, I like, uh, you know, uh, talking to these young women and, and motivating them, and they motivate me. So, uh, you know, uh, you could, you, you're all there to help them. Uh, you're there for a purpose, you know, you, you, you know you, 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 to get fit, keep healthy, and, um, yeah. Go cool. Cool. Thanks a lot, Nick. Thanks, Mark. We'll see you down there. We'll see you down at the gym. Yep. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.